Welcome back to my tutorials. Today I will uh, guide you to install Debian inside Microsoft Hyper-V Manager. I will guide you to create a new virtual machine and uh, and explain a little more about what's the different is between the functions and and guide you from to download the Debian ISO so you have your completely Debian uh, virtual machine ready to use. So first, go to debian.org and click on getting Debian. Now, download 64 bits PC Net installer. It does a pretty small uh, ESO. It's like 250 uh, megabytes. It's a uh, it's a really basic. So you need an internet connection to complete this installation. Now, select your Hyper-V manager and go to your server my server is a lead gamer and right click on your server select new virtual machine go to next and we want our virtual machine rename it to Debian 8.1 tutorial you can uh, keep the, the default location it's uh, program data, Microsoft, Windows, Hyper-V, or you can start storage the the virtual machine. It's a different location uh, if you don't like the default. I I think that's just okay for now. So just keep the default settings and go to the next. In this generation, I only have worked with generation one, so. I cannot explain you right now what is the difference between the generation 1 and generation 2 is exactly. But so for now, just click generation 1. In this uh, in this setup, you need to uh, select how much memory the virtual machine need to use. If you use dynamic memory, you uh, can have a lot of uh, computer uh, virtual machines they are sharing the memory uh, if you only have two gigabytes of memory in your computer you can uh, click use dynamic uh, memory for this virtual machine on but if you have a lot of memory I got uh, 32 uh, memories uh, gigabytes of memories sorry so I think the dynamic memory for this computer is, is not uh, so good so I only select uh, 512 uh, megabytes of memory uh, I don't like uh, real like dynamic memory uh, I have it running with the dynamic memory in in, in the work and we're testing the difference between it as, and we look at the performance issues with using the dynamic memory because uh, the virtual machines do not really can uh, handle this on on the right way so just lock every memory you need go to the next now we need to configuration our, our network I will select my network lane 1 and click next um, I need to create a, a virtual hard drive and uh, it's uh, recommend me to 127 gigabytes but uh, I, I know we use Linux and the disk space is not uh, so requiring as a Windows computer so we need only 20 gigabytes that, that's fine we need to select the ISO Install the operation system from bootable CD on DVD-ROM, and we select image file and browse. Uh, I think it's my it's here on Debian, yeah. And click next. Before you uh, click finish, look at your settings. This is the right. My name is uh, Debian 81 tutorial. It's a first generation, 512 megabyte of memory. I use my uh, network lane 1 and my virtual machine's uh, hard drive is 
this location and the operation system will be installed from my ISO as you can see Debian 81 64 bits net installer and now click finish it's a take a little just a minute and now your computer is um, is ready to to, um, to run double click on it and it will open the the screen and we need to turn it on as you can see we are ready to install Debian for now click install oh sorry select your language your location I'm from Denmark so I need to find Europe whoops oh of course yeah sorry Denmark and I need the keyboards my keyboard uh, sorry my uh, language uh, default language inside the the operation system is selected to uh, United Kingdom and my keyboard de is Danish um, now I install the, the the default components it's taking a a little minute we will call it Debian 8.1 dot tutorial the root password select the root password retype it your name on the default user and the account name it's uh, just need to be your first name that's okay now select your password for a new user and retype it and click enter we make it easy use the entire disk all files in one partition it's uh, easy to use as um, as developer mode so select this and we are finished with the partition and we need uh, we want to uh, read the, the change to the disk are we sure yes we are sure This can take a couple of minutes. Now we are close to the next step. Sorry for waiting. Now you need to select uh, which country 
you uh, want to download the package from because I'm living in Denmark I, I will select Denmark you can select whatever country you want and I select the, the number one that's fine and uh, I'm not behind the proxy so I just leave this blank This can take a couple of minutes again. I'm sorry for for the time. And we select yes to to have to survive. We disable desktop, we disable printer server, we enable SSH server so we can connect it by from the term terminal like uh, OS X and, and other Linux destination or we can download the application to Windows, it's called Pudgy and we will keep the default system settings, uh, utilities it's finished it's uh, it's asked about we want to install the boot uh, the master boot record we of course say yes and we select our partition and we continue it uh, will be remove our, our virtual uh, zero room or DVD drive. So continue. And now the the virtual uh, system is rebooting. And here we got uh, a Debian. As you can see, that's completely running. Thank you for watching my tutorial. And if you like it, you can like it below and you're welcome to subscribe my channel and I will publish more videos when I get time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.